Thank you. So I'm not really religious, but I'm spiritual, which means I've done drugs. You know, and I've seen a lot of football on TV lately, and people are saying like, oh, dude, I'm praying for my team to win, man. I'm praying for them. And they lost. I'm like, what happened, dude? I thought you had a plan. I thought you were praying, and it sounded like a solid idea. And then he's like, oh, someone else must have been praying harder for the other team. <laughs> oh, someone must have been praying really hard for me to fail my math test. You know, someone must have been praying really hard for me to not be on school time. And someone must have been praying super hard for Grandpa to die from cancer. Because my whole family was really praying for him to make it. <laughs> You know, I think it was my aunt. I think she was doing overtime. She really wanted that inheritance. I'm just saying, we were praying for grandpa. You know, but my grandma's still alive. She's still kicking it. And she's a little crazy. She'll say stuff like, Neil, I love you. And I made you some cookies. And stay away from Mexicans. And I'm like, grandma, that's really fucked up. You know I don't like oatmeal raisin cookies. <laughs> I can't convince an eight-year-old woman to make chocolate chip cookies. I don't know what to do about it. I just don't know. But uh, I kind of have my ideas about religion still. Like when it comes to Jesus, I think I know how he did some of those miracles. I think he had a twin brother. I think Jesus had a twin, you know, like there was one Jesus underneath the table handing them fish and bread. And he's like, we got more of this shit, keep it coming, keep it coming. There was one Jesus at a party with water, he dipped out real quick and came back with wine. He's like, hey, look what I got. I'm Jesus. Remember that shit. And then one Jesus got put on the cross. I think you know where this is going. Three days later, twin Jesus, you know, got a fedora and a briefcase, so I'm like, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> so I'm the to Jesus. This shit's real. It's real, guys. Anyone, uh, anyone here go to college? Yeah? I think college is, uh, is just like Chuck E. Cheese. I think they stole their ideas from Chuck E. Cheese. Because you go to Chuck E. Cheese and that's already a commitment. And then you have to transact your money for tokens to play games. And these games give you tickets. You know, and these tickets you can get a prize at the end of the day. You know, if you get enough tickets, you can get a prize. And you got those kids like running around, they don't know what prize they're gonna get. They're just getting tickets. Like, I think people told me I should get tickets. I think I'm gonna get some tickets. And you got that guy who's like saving up all his tickets for the big like prize at the end of it. It's just like college. You go to the school, that's a commitment. You trade your money for classes, you play the class, and if you do good, you get credits. You know, and like some people just get credits. So like, I'm getting credits, I'm getting credits. You know, there's a dude like, and at the end, they'll trade in their credits for a master degree or something, and, you know? That's how it works, it's Chuck E. Cheese. You have like, uh, you know, it's just it's both a scam to take your money. It's the same thing. That's all I'm saying. You have a good chance of being molested at both. The ball pit is about as dangerous as a frat party. No one can hear you in those tunnels. It's like outer space in there. It's, it's fucking real. Pretty sure that's where they got their ideas. So you guys hear about snakes? I fucking hate snakes. Somebody was saying they own a snake. They don't own a snake. They have a snake infestation in their house. Just a controlled infestation they need to take care of. That's all I'm saying. It's just like, you know Noah's Ark? Yeah? yeah. All right. But like, God came up and he's like, no, I need you to get two of every animal. I feel like you fucked up. You should have left the snakes in the ocean. That's where they belong. What kind of animal doesn't have legs? Fish! Thank you. Shit in the ocean. That's where they belong. You know, imagine that. Like, alright, the zebras are doing good. The giraffes are cool. Oh, fuck the snake. 
Don't fuck the snakes. They've already told fucking people to eat apples they shouldn't be eating and shit. God fucked up with that. They should have put like, hey, except the snakes. Everything but the snakes. So uh, the whole story of Noah's Ark, though, is like, God comes up to Noah, and he's like, hey, man, I'm glad I found you. You're the only person I can trust. We're going to kill everybody. I need you to build an ark. And Noah's just like, God, what is an ark? How do I build that? I'm down. Let's do a genocide. Fuck it. And so like, they do the whole 40 days of rain, and they get off the boat. And then God comes back and he's like, hey, Noah, good shit. <laughs> Everyone's dead. We're gonna, make, uh, we're gonna make a contract right now, though. Here's a verbal contract. All right? I'm never, ever gonna kill the entire world again. <laughs> Using water. <laughs> you know, I'm never gonna t- t- fucking destroy the world with a flood. I feel like that was very specific of God. You know, he's just like, ooh, I put all my eggs in one ark. <laughs> Wasn't a good idea. I need something more controlled, like a plague, maybe. <laughs> something in my, like, my favor. I put all my eggs in one ark. It's just not a good business tactic. And then he continues, and he's like, all right, you see these rainbows? These rainbows in the sky? When I see the rainbow, I remember to turn the water off. I guess his memory is just not as good as it used to be or something. And so he keeps me like, yeah, every time I see a rainbow, I remember to turn the water off. Which is a trip, because most Christian people don't even like what rainbows stand for anymore. You know, it's just times have changed. And I guess like he forgot to see the rainbow over Katrina. Is it too soon for Katrina jokes? Is it too soon? Shit. All right, so I quit smoking weed. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks. I'm glad for that shit. Oh my god. It's like I lost a really good friend of mine that still hangs out with all the people I know. It's like, what did I do, Mary Jane? What did I do? But I used to smoke weed when I was sick. People would be like, you shouldn't do that. I'm like, nah, dude, trust me, it makes sense. I'm used to this shit. The bacteria is not. The bacteria gets super stoned, you know? It's like, they're like, instead of making me sick, talking to each other like, hey, man, you ever think like maybe we're just a speck? <laughs> Something bigger? You know, and then the white blood cell comes up like, freeze, you're busted, you stoned marijuana piece of shit. But then I started thinking, like, what if humans are like bacteria on Earth? You know, and like hurricanes and earthquakes are just the natural defense mechanism. But we're gaining resilience, we're getting stronger, we're building houses and shelter, and we have clothes. And then, uh, and then all of a sudden, Mars is like, hey, Earth, what the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? This shit's new, man. I didn't have this last week. You gotta just stay away from Earth. He's contagious. Alright, thank you, everybody. Yeah!